Cosmic tonight. Last week was uh, get uncomfortable. I suggest this week just get comfortable, okay? Take your shoes off, kick them. Don't, don't kick them on the tables, but um, in any case, uh, sorry for the delay here, but we're going to welcome Evan up to the stage as our first performer. What's up, everybody? All right, so I got a new song tonight, so a little uncomfortable, but it's all good. I hope you're all having a great night, but I'm gonna I'm gonna get going. How are we sounding out there? Alright, this song is called Exactly Where We Ought to Be and goes a little something like this. The difference is something you don't know to me. What makes you nervous? Shiver, shake, and flourish. Enough says your liberty. Thanks, everybody. Have a great night.
Can I have the house band accompany me? Big fan of the house band. You never know how it's going to go. Everything can be replaced And every distance is not near So I remember every face Of every man who put me here I see my light come shine Hey, Brad, you want to come up and do a thing? They say that every man needs protection. They say that every man must fall. Yet I swear I see my reflection So very high above these walls I see my light come shining From the west unto the east Every day now any day now, I shall be
for this guitar, and up next, we have another very talented performer whose name is on the list, which I currently do not have. Say again. Michelle? Aha. Welcome, Bishal, to the stage, everybody. Does the sound sound okay here? Yeah? All right. All right, this is my first time playing here. I'm usually about two more gin and tonics in, so uh, don't mind my nerves. This is a song by Nana Gritzel, which is an indie band. Uh, it's called Night Lights 2, and it's about two books I've never read. The shine, lonely hunter, stalks across my chest. So I'm only seeking glory, yeah, but glory never gives me any rest. Rest my body to an armchair. Rest me to the body of your bed. Rest me the place we share our tendernesses. It's there I'll rest my head. Another night at the end of the hallway. We'll take you to the back of the bar. We're cloudy headed for bed. You wonder where those fleeting families are. Are you somewhere on the west coast? Are you just a figment of my mind? Aren't you the one who always told me, boy, it's easier with time to be the saddest son in a lullaby? adores you said but I am but my body heart and shaking skin how will you find a safe place when you never let anyone in to the place where you keep all your timid questions but can I kiss you one more time before I go I know this world is full of hopeless suggestions it's us who get caught in the undertow don't you know we were born on a moving train we took form in the fallen rain we try hard, but come short of explaining that lives are for living and hearts are for changing. Yeah, getting it's to stay the same. Not as the mountains go as they came. All these things we refuse to be framed in from what we've been given to what we're changing. Yeah. Things come to those who wait. All right, up next we have we have Sean, just just Sean. We have Distal Think and then Sean. I was just keeping you on your toes, you know. You tuned up and everything. 
All right, we've got the wonderful Stephen of Distal Fink. It looks like the house band's going to be here. Here comes Brad. Do we want Drew? We're, we, we need some keys. He can make his way. So gently. Um. Well, hello, everybody. I had, uh, I had like zero seconds to prepare. I normally like have a song ready and stuff, but then Chris said that the theme was cosmic. So I was like, I got this. It was cosmic. We had fun. This is the house band. If you want to use this, we're here all night. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah? Uh, yeah, it's almost all the way up.
Give me just a second, I'm going to talk to the house band briefly and then be all set. So this is one that I wrote myself. Down these times are getting rough. There's not much I can do. I am broke There's more I can offer you Well, I've been sleeping on the ground Cause that's all I can afford But we still got each other Ask for more I 
Give it up for the house band, holy shit, they're so amazing. Thank you, I'm Sean. Y'all are sounding great, so I'm excited to hear so much more. Have a good night, everyone. For showing off to show off your kids at work day. Um, this is Raffi, Raffi Taffy. And uh, up next we have the wonderful Sean McIntyre, followed by, I believe it's Alex. Can someone check the screen there? All right. Alex is on deck. Thank you, everyone. It's quite, a, quite an attractive bunch, I must say, by the way. Just putting it out there. I mean, yeah. You going to sing Raffi? Raffi! Hello. Stop. <laughs> Don't eat it. Say hello. Say hello, Ravi. Say bye bye. <laughs> Hi, guys. So I will be up again a little bit later, but I will be dressed very differently. Um, my theater troupe is the feature tonight, Iparogi. You can see our flyers on the tables. But I figured I'd get up and sing before uh, I did that. So. <clears throat> By lonely prison walls, I heard a young girl calling. Michael, they're taking you away. For you stole Trevelyn's corn, so our child might see the morn. Now a prison ship lies waiting in the bay. Low lie the fields of Athenry, where once we watched the small free birds fly. Our love was on the wings, we had dreams and songs to sing. It's so lonely around the fields of Athenry. By lonely prison walls, I heard a young man calling. Nothing matters, Mary, when you're free. Against the famine and the crown, I rebelled, they struck me down. Now you must raise our child with dignity. Lola, hey, the fields of Athenry where once we watched the small free birds fly. Our love was on the wings, we had dreams and songs to sing. It's so lonely around the fields of Athenry. By lonely harbor walls, we watched the last star falling. As a prison ship shelled out against the sky, we will wait and hope and pray for our loves in Botany Bay. It's so lonely around the fields of Athenry. Lola, high the fields of Athenry, where once we watched the small free birds fly. Our love was on the wings. We had dreams and songs to sing. It's so lonely around the fields of Athenry. It's so lonely around the fields of Athenry. Thank you, guys.
All right. Give Sean McIntyre another round of pierogies. It's beautiful. Up next, we have Alex. Instrumental guitar, beautiful nylon string. And now we can just keep this. Oh, nice. What a beautiful song, gorgeous, to sing a cappella as well, so beautifully. Ooh, that's, is that loud? That might be too loud. Maybe to turn the monitors down just a little, because that it bothers me. More. So I've been playing a guitar for a while, but today I thought, well, I'm going to go to the uh, acoustic cafe and play something, but I'm not up to playing anything too difficult, so I thought I'd revisit the very first guitar instrumental that I learned way back when I was a teenager, which is now forever ago. I don't want to say how many years ago that is, but uh, this is a little bit of a folk thing, uh, two pieces stuck together. I don't know if you guys ever heard of a guitarist by the name of Leo Kotke. Anybody hear that? Okay. Well, this is one of his earlier pieces, uh, and it's called The Fisherman and followed by a little rendition of a piece called Doc's Guitar.
Thank you. All right, thank you, Alex. Up next, we had Alex, now we have Abby Doyle, the lovely recording king, awesome shirt. All right, come on up. Thank you kindly. Uh, I will stand. All right. Hi, everybody. Uh, I'm Abby Badak Doyle. I really appreciate the theme this evening of uh, looking up. So this is my hopeful song about uh, fighting and making up. This is a song I wrote called Good Now. We almost threw down in that ring eating town. I was giving you a talking to And the words kept flying out Remember I said you're not riding ahead With your one beat dollar and your right said Fred And then you laughed and we toasted to no one And we're good now You steamrolled my heart but we got a new It'll take more than that to knock me down flat anyhow. I knew since we were kids that you'd find your bliss. Now the whole damn world is full of it. Whoa, honey, I'm good now. I slept too cold and I woke up alone on the living room couch. Who are you to decide I should lay down my pride and care what's coming out your mouth? But this town's too small to pick a fight. So we drive to the city in the middle of the night and we fade into everything and we're good now. You gotta give forgiveness and you gotta pour the good wine. Both the kind of things you don't skimp on when you're running out of time. So I'll toast to you from the moment I knew it was all gonna turn out fine. Whoa, honey, I'm good now. Things are looking up tonight. That was wonderful, Abby. Thank you. Uh, up next, we have Nick Guckert, followed by Roy, and then Julianne Wright. All right. Nick, thank you. Yeah. 
Why, hello. I'm going to sit. That's all right. Thanks. Appreciate it. My name's Nick Gookert. It's like uh, she's a looker or pressure cooker. Gookert. <laughs> oh, this is that's nice and loud. This is a song I wrote um, very recently. I turned 30. Very recently. No. Um, thank you. Yeah. No, it wasn't that recent. But I wrote this song because I had this idea, you know, whenever I was, I was still 29, which was right before then. Um, and uh, I thought of this line, last year of a decade. I got to write a song about that. So this song is called More Stuff, because whether it's good, bad, or anything in between, you're getting it, baby. Last year of a decade, some tracks they don't get replayed. Didn't think it would end this way. More tears, more lies, more day. Working hard, but it's not enough. Feeling guilty that I take too much. When did I stop doing it all for love? More tears, more lies, more stuff. More stuff. I heard you walk up and leave without a word, without a reason for me walk away from what I love more tears more lies more stuff more stuff But I complicate things Meditate But I just can't shake it More tears I'm getting wasted I'm busy faking what it was I didn't notice that I've run my trust Feeling good but I'm looking rough More tears, more lies And just more stuff more stuff, more stuff. I heard you walk up and leave without a word, without a reason for me. Walk away from what I love. Walk away from what I love Walk away from what I love More tears, more lies And more stuff More stuff More stuff More stuff Last year of a decade, some tracks don't get replayed. Hey, well, thank you. I have a show uh, this Wednesday at Pittsburgh Winery with Jeff Taylor and Noah Jordan. This Saturday at the Lawrenceville Distillery with David Montez, Orange G, um, some others, and, uh, yep, and uh, Casey Catone on Monday at the Poetry Lounge. All right, that's all I had to say. Goodbye. Thank you. All right. So if you want to hear more stuff from Roy, where did he say he's going to be? Well, great.
great listener. Oh, that was Nick. Up next, we do have Roy. Mm. I'm very clear tonight. Sharp as a butter knife. Um, we've got Roy, and then we've got Julianne Wright, followed by um, Zyvin. Zyvin Zyvin. We'll double check that. All right, thank you all so much. Remember, the house band is here at your service. Um, plenty of good food, drinks, uh, and yeah, things are looking up. Things are cosmic. Things are crazy in my world. Um, all right, is Roy ready? Is Roy in the house? He's here. I heard he's here. Hey, there he is. All right. Then the other, I have two instruments, you know, so um, I need to just plug this baby in and um, plug it into a, another amp or another uh, channel in that amp, whatever, okay. however you want to do that. What's the DI bump? It's just a straight into That'd be fine, yeah. Okay, we'll do that. Um, yeah, that would be great. So um, all we got to do is take the blue part off here and... My cord right there, quarter inch. And that can go into your board. I'm going to set this aside. And um, I just need the power and plug into my tablet here. Yep, so, um, could you stick this into one of the powers right now? I'm ready, yeah. What's your name again, please? Dominic. Dominic. I'm sorry, Dominic. Thanks for telling me. Yeah.
Roy, everybody, give it up. All right, uh, thanks, thanks very much for uh, the chance to sing and, and play for you. Um, I'm just going to go without a microphone, um, and uh, I hope, uh, hope it works out and you can hear me. I'd like to dedicate this song to my wife, who's been a supporter of music uh, for um, almost 40 years we've been together. A little louder? Okay. Um, cold. I'm sorry, excuse me. Cold, cold. No. I won't believe your heart is cold. Maybe just afraid broken again you in Thanks very much. Greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, All right. Man. Wonderful. How do you say your last name again? Hegedus. 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 All right. Please put your hands and feet together for Roy Hegedus. Incredible. Up next, we have the wonderful Julianne Wright. Oh, no, no, you're wonderful. The very above average Julianne Wright. <laughs> Clinking the keys. Also, the fries are very good. Compliments to the chef. Woo, never you want to say potato, anything this time? Like... Say, hello. Hello. Uh, oh. Say. Hello. Oh, sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, the camera. All right. All right. All right. So, 
Thank you. As advertised, I'm Julianne Wright. I'm a singer, songwriter, producer. I've been doing more of the songwriting and producing than the singing lately. But uh, this is a world premiere of this form of this song, anyway. An earlier form was sung at Megan King Johnson's uh, in, in her uh, dining room on New Year's Eve, if anyone cared. <laughs> All right, here we go. So many voices crying to be heard. But these pains, these struggles, they are not the final word. We are boundless when we transcend. In the fire, this is not going to fall, is it? I probably have it memorized. <laughs> In the fires, in the darkness, we know that this is not the end. Because this is not the end. Maybe I don't. We'll break heavy load when we're feeling okay so, as it turns out I do not have the song memorized ah, the pads fell off of the back of that you're going to need some rubber pads or something. okay just saying I just saying, for real. Okay. Where are we? We're breaking under the heavy load. When we're screaming and we're pounding, we're fighting against the undertow. When we can't tell where to begin. In the chaos of these troubles, Moments slip and time is ticking. They say the darkest part of the night comes right before the light. When things get tough and life hits like a dart, get ready for the new start. We will not fade away. It's the end of the song. There. Thank you. All right. 
right, that was wonderful. Up next, we have a, just a little bit of comedy. But we're going to stretch it out as long as we can. And uh, I was trying to... Oh, I did want to thank Julianne. She came to my diaper party, and trust me, we have, we have used them. If you ever want to drop by again, that'd be totally fine. Um, all right, let's give it up for... It's, War, it's Zivon. I want to say Warren Zivon, but it's, a, it's close. But Zivon, Vasquez. Here we go. Hello, how is everybody? Okay, um, how do people feel? Uh, morbid or horny? Someone said horbid, morny, morny, oh, that's something. Anyways, um, well, I, I think I'm more horny than I am morbid. I think I'm full of life, so let's start with that. Um, I was, I was watching an ad for ED meds, and uh, they must work because it felt like it lasted forever. <laughs> but I saw this ad, and it was, a, it was a quote, and the quote said, I'm 45, but I'm having sex like I'm 25. Um, I don't know if the pills come with, like, bad credit, and they take your headboard away. <laughs> but that's what youthful fucking is. <laughs> I'm 25 now, and I would kill to have sex like a 45-year-old because then I could do it in a home that I own. <laughs> that would be really cool. Yeah, it's, um, I'd like to go soft with a mortgage. Okay. <laughs> so I've opened up the door. Um, I have this new anxiety. I have this new uh, worry. I'm worried that I will accidentally quote porn to someone, and they will know what I'm referring to. <laughs> I was talking to my mom the other day, and I was like, bye, love you, blowjob party interracial by the pool. Oh, shit. Oh, man, oh, she knows. That's her favorite one. <sighs> That's how I got here. How do you know, Zivon, how do you know that you're half black? I'll tell you. Um, it's because my, I'm infertile, so my boys can't swim either. Okay, that's a racist infertility joke. And I don't have to worry about gun violence because I'm shooting blanks. Okay. They told me Millville was ready. Um, I see now this was a lie. Okay. Um, I did hook up with someone recently, though, and uh, afterwards she says, you know, you have the body of a Greek statue. I go, oh, my God. She goes, hold on. That just means you don't move around very much and your penis is very small. Um, I do only really date artists. Um, I think I'm like a very supportive boy. I'm like a phantom of the opera kind of boyfriend, I think. I, well, mostly just because I'm very supportive and I will kill your ex. That's kind of... <laughs> if you need me to. Anyways, I'm great at singing. Um, I'd like to get a little bit more personal, though. Uh, so losing my virginity uh, was my 9-11 because I know where I was when it happened. It was her 9/11 uh, because I exploded on impact. It was her dad's 9. It was her dad's 9/11 um, because he doesn't like brown guys anymore. Oh, I shouldn't have shown him the tape. This is the second tower. It's more like an obelisk. I'm part Egyptian. Anyways, uh, no, I'm not. That's a lie. My dad is black. He's the black one. I call him dad though, and. Um, He's like this cool, like, African guy, like, cool, metrosexual African guy, shops at Wakanda Forever 21. <laughs> Any patrons? Um, specifically, he's Nigerian, though. And I'm his son, so that makes me a Nigerian prince, which is why nobody answers my emails. It's very frustrating. My dad is cool, though. My dad's, like, a really cool uh, black guy, like, almost too cool. Like, I don't know what he's thinking half the time. He's kind of an enigma to me, and I can say that I'm half enigma. But I have been thinking about my virginity and the loss thereof. Um, that's how you know I have sex, because I say thereof. <laughs> it, was pretty, it was pretty standard. It was pretty, it was pretty humdrum. But the thing is, um, 
she had a projector. She was watching, we were watching Netflix right before, um, as is customary, and we were watching uh, the first episode of The Queen's Gambit, which is, you know, I'm trying to figure out my opening. Oh, is this a Sicilian? No, I got a Brazilian. Okay, cool, this is, hmm, let's see how I can, mate in 10? More like mate in two, actually. Um, all right, um, what else did I want to share with you guys? Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, all of the animals and all the movies we used to watch are dead now. No, it's just, that's, you know. <laughs> but the thing, like, we just accept that, right? We just, we just know that, like, animals only live so long and it's much shorter than us. So, like, we just accept that. But nobody asks how these animals die. You guys know Babe? Babe, the, ba the pig from Babe Fentanyl, actually. <laughs> yeah. Spirit, the stallion, too much horse, heroin. The pig from Charlotte's Web, also fentanyl. I don't know... It's funny when bigs do drugs. Okay. I had one more I had one more tag for this. Give me a moment to remember it. Oh, that's right. Macaulay Culkin ages in dog years. Okay, that's a bit of a jump. I was <laughs> this was supposed to be a three minute bit comparing childhood actors to animals, but I lost the thread. Ah, hmm. oh, gosh. I um I am going out with someone and it's going pretty well, but uh, we found out that she has mesothelioma. So now I have to decide if she's a loved one or not. <laughs> the other night we were talking and um, she said, babe, what are we? And I was like, uh, eligible for financial compensation. <laughs> so I think dinner's on you, right? <laughs> All right. I, uh, I'll end on this. I, I'm originally from Texas. I came here from Texas and everything you know or think about Texas is true. It's big, it's hot, it's racist, even the animals are racist. When we have oil spills, ducks go into the water to try blackface. <laughs> All right, I guess we left our shoe polish at home. Good night. <laughs>
Grandma Shark, Grandma Shark, Grandma Shark. Let's take a little break. Shark do 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 Grandpa Shark do 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 Grandpa Shark do 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 Grandpa Shark Can you just say hello? Ravi, <laughs> say hello. Come on, do it. We practiced <laughs> so many times. Yeah. Hello. Hello. All right. Thank you all very much. <laughs> Woo. Thanks. That was good tambourine play. Hey, you're really good at that. Great. He's practicing. All right, up next we have the, the long time acoustic cafe. I need a, I need a good heroic noun. Come on, man. You got it all. Gab, you want to stay on stage for Jeremy's too? Yeah, no, you know, I'm a little shy. Um, say what? I don't I mean, may, yeah, sure, whatever, whatever. Um, all right, welcome Jeremy K. Wood to the stage. Performing a special song. I believe this is a certain cover song for a certain special project. I can't, I don't know. I, that's so much. I can't wait to be a father. It's going to be incredible. You see that? Can we give it up for our host and his beautiful family? <laughs> That's the dream. That is the dream. Taped off areas, I like it. Uh, do you have a signal for me, I guess would be my first question. Perfect, thank you. I don't know how to follow that. Um, I know how I have to follow it. Cool, thank you. Um, Brad Yoder has been a huge piece of my life and I was asked to be a part of the Brad Yoder tribute. And so I'm gonna do my best uh, at a Brad Yoder song that, that changed my life. And as I've been practicing it, I think about all these little things in life that really, they affect you and they hurt you, right? You take them with you everywhere you go and then you're like, well, why did that really bother me? And uh, that's, that's what I take from this song. Brad Yoder, you've changed my life. I love you. It's been a while.
All the prizes we once sought Possessions that were sold in bought or tossed or broken Lost or tossed away With the status we enjoy Ooh, The things that we've employed All the way To never understand Now it's clear of long past shows I knew that band they haven't played in years now it's clear As they all fly by the few we marked oh, never Dedicated his whole life to mastering the instrument he played. Would he believe for all his skill one single broken note would still wake and shake our sleeping hearts? Thanks for letting me play, Brad. I love you, Brad. Give it up for your host, Chris Hannigan. Your sound engineer is doing a fantastic job. Give it up for him as well. And Taylor, you're hot. I love you, babe. Literally, she's pouring so many drinks tonight. You guys are filling the room. And give it up for yourselves. All right, give it up again for Jeremy Yoder. All right, here we go. Up next, is it Achillean? 
A Killian. All right, thank you. I stand corrected. Ah, well, that makes sense. Beautiful name, A Killian. All right, here we go. How can I help you? Um, so, like I said, my name's Akili Ann. Um, I haven't been here for a couple weeks, so I was actually working on a little project. My friend and I um, decided to uh, put in like a, a little entry for the Tiny Desk concert. So, <laughs> we're excited. Um, my favorite band is on the judging panel, so I'm just excited about the fact that they might hear one of my songs. Um, <laughs> This is a new song that uh, This is a new song that I wrote yesterday and today, so Got my trusty words. Um, this is called Chameleon. When my fingers are numb, when I've sung all I've sung, when I brought God for the last time, will it be worth a thing? My words and my schemes, will I win the game or will it play me with something on? to my brain, no money in that champagne. If I spoke too loud, if my steps shook the ground, they wouldn't want me around. I've tried changing my colors, like the others, again and again and again. Blend in the crowd like a Give it up again for Achille That was beautiful. New song. All right, up next we have Neil McGuire, followed by the inestimable Drew on the keyboard, also a member of the house band, and um, 
It's only ketchup, I swear. Uh, is, is Neil in the house? Neil's here. All right, hello, Neil. Oh, wait. Yeah, house band is playing. Check. I'll give you some juice one. It's coming on in a second. Okay. You might want to turn your volume knob down too. What about Eric? Yeah. Eric George! <laughs> Check, check, check. How is everyone doing tonight? It's great to see you has a great crowd here. I, I came in earlier and I was like, wow, there's not that many people here. Now there's a ton of people, so that's great. Everyone's been doing such a great job from the state of comedy on Down Under. But um, anyways, this song I'm about to do is one I wrote recently. I wrote it back in October. It's called Mary Shenley after the namesake of Shenley Park, which is the overlook above Pittsburgh and by the Phipps and everything like that. But um, I changed the chorus up a little bit, and I borrowed some lyrics from a song written in 1902 called Bill Bailey. So Mary Shenley and Bill Bailey kind of have a ring to it, but Bill Bailey's kind of like, nah, I like Mary Shenley better, so we'll go with that. Anyways, here it goes. One, two, three, Four.
thank you so much. And you know it's really rock and roll when you break a string on your guitar. Woo! Yeah, rock on, Pittsburgh, have a great march. Woo! See you soon, thank you. I'm up here doing my job, as um, <laughs> our next performer insisted. <laughs> Most of you probably know him. His In the name, biblical sense? His name is Dre. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, wait, uh, Drew, Drew. Please welcome Drew to the stage. Is there, is there a Drew in the house? Anywhere? Come on, we got knocked out all day. Oh, oh okay, jeez. Oh, shit, oh, it's me, all right. Thank you, both of you. So uh, tonight's theme is uh, looking up. So I decided to break out a, a relatively old tune from the Drew archives. That's right, I am Drew. That's D-R-U to you. I'm the composer of the smart-ass rock in the world. Uh, this song is called Chameleon. It's about a guy who likes a girl and decides that he's going to become everything she likes and he's going to learn exactly what she likes by looking up the things about her. Yes, it's, it's uh, you know, essentially like a hacking, cyber-stalking, uh, uh, heartwarming uh, tale of, of, of love. No, it's piano. Yeah, there we go. You didn't do do. It buttoned out on down. You blew into the room, you filled up my eyes, they grew to double their size, jaw dropping. Such a confident girl, like no other I've seen. Your strut is flirty and mean, hip popping. You're so good looking, I gotta make you mine. My breath, you took it. My soul, you set a fire. I gotta know just what you're into. Bands that you like most and where you have been to. One thing I can do, I'm gonna Google you. I'm gonna Google you. Time to pay your tab. You breeze up to the bar. I see the name on your card, photographic. I type it in and hit go to see where your name is found. Looks like just one in this town. Fantastic. I got your number, I know where you buy shoes, I bet you wonder, where do I get my news? It's all there, your banking statements, place it does your hair, your trip to the Caymans, always something new, oh, when I Google you, when I Google you. Be surprised to know just what you can find About a person if you have enough time A little number unlocks a lot And I found it, hooray I found it Now that I know just what you want in a man I'll go remake myself the best as I can I'll be complete So when we meet you can't resist me Bet you can't resist me Change my wardrobe and my amazing clothes Don't like goatees, I can lose it Learn to play the blues if I have time Fill my eye, put up with Lenny Kravitz Get my hair done up like Brad Pitt Never gonna quit until you're mine I'm reading all that I can I soak up all that I read I'll become all that you need Chameleon, why don't you take a chance? Come on, give me a try I'll be your perfect guy One in a million you got no secrets, at least none you need to hide from me. Ooh, I don't believe it. Your mother lives right down the street. I can't wait to get to know you. Hope you take the bait, some things I want to show you. Up in my computer room, by the light of the cathode ray tube. And I bet that you'll be flattered too, you know I Googled you. Gonna be dizzy, little bit, it's gonna be a little bit of a
Thanks, I'm Drew. Try that at home. Oh, you can see my whole band, the Liberty Tubes, at the Millville Music Festival, I expect. I don't know, they haven't sent out announcements yet, but I host and I, you know, do the sound so they fucking know me. Liberty Tubes, it's called. All right. Well, that's one way to rip off the theme. <clears throat> We're always looking up stuff on the spy book. All right, up next we have Connemara, followed by Travis Dodge, followed by a very special I pierogi. One pierogi? <laughs> Something about pierogies are coming up, so it's got to be good. All right, Connemara. Hello. All right, so uh, in keeping with the theme of looking up, um, uh, there's a song I wrote about a special dog that went into space, and the people who shot him into space knew that they wasn't coming back. So I like to think she's still up there. So this song's called Ly Laika. <clears throat> Take a picture with your Leica. 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 
We don't understand the rock we live on We were meant for the stars Take a picture, it'll last you longer Snap the shutter, photoshop the scars Take a picture with your Leica Take a picture with your Leica Lost in space with Leica Lost in space with Leica Take a picture with your Leica Take a picture with your Leica Lost in space with Leica We're lost in space with Leica Thank you. All right, thanks again. Give it up for Connemara. And welcome the, the rockin' and rollin' Travis Dodge. I'm gonna plug into that electric amp and Some noise. Oh, Row House Cinema. I like the hat. All right, I'm going to get out of here. Getting a little claustrophobic. It will be now. Yeah. It will be now. Okay, we'll work with that. All right, so I've never opened for a Commedia dell'arte before, so this will be interesting. But so that's, the song is weirdly appropriate, actually. So.
Thank you. That was Travis Rock Your Face Off Dodge. Give it up. Up next, we have a very special treat. I once again stand corrected. It was not I pierogi or one pierogi. It was E pierogi. So, I don't know what the hell you guys are going to do, but I'm looking forward to it. I'm Sean McIntyre, you saw me earlier. <laughs> but now I'm not gonna do Irish music. I'm gonna do Italian comedy. <laughs> so, uh, e pierogi, uh, the flyers are on your tables. Um, we are a uh, Comedia del Arte troupe from here in Pittsburgh. We're the first public Comedia del Arte troupe in Pittsburgh. Um, there are other cities around the world that have Comedia del Arte troops, but we're the first one to ever place our feet here. So. Uh, I am super excited to start this project. On Friday, we have our first show at the Hubworks in Westview, which is part of their library, but this is their arts center, which is like a couple of doors down. So and we're, not, we're not doing this in the library uh, <laughs> or in a church. Oh, wait, we're doing that right now. Um, so what you're going to see tonight is um, Comedia Arte is basically a scenario-based comedy. So. All the actors know the scenario, but they don't know their lines. They're making up their lines off the top of their head. So kind of like the improv you see today, but um, a little bit different because we actually have a plot that we're working on. So I'll be starting things off. I am Pantalone. Uh, I am the old crotchety rich man from town. Uh, that is going to be my job. And then the characters will start to introduce themselves from here, but uh, we'll tell you, we'll show you all about it as we go. So I'm going to step off for just a second and then we'll start. <clears throat> Francescina! What do you want, Pantalone? I, I wanted my dinner like an hour ago. It's only four o'clock, sir. I, I didn't ask what time it was. I had one of my dinner. You'll have your dinner at five, as you always have. It's only four. Why, why do I pay you so much? You only pay me one ducat a month. That is the best pay in all of Verona. I don't believe that. Like you're going to go somewhere else? Who, who are you going to work for then? Maybe I'll talk to Doctore. Doctore? He, he doesn't have money. I mean, that's why he comes to me for all his... Schemes. We'll see about that. Fine, fine. Get me my dinner. Dottori. Uh, uh, just a moment, I'm reading. Dottori? I said, I'm reading. Dottori? What is it? to you about Pantalone and my salary, and I, I, I don't believe him that he says that one ducat a month is far more superior than anywhere I could get. Ah, I see. Uh, well, is there a book about it? Because I could then read all about your situation. I'm sure there's, like, wage... Books? Books? Ah. Or records? Yeah. Uh, it's interesting. I was actually going to see Pantalone later today uh, because I am working on a new research project. Would you like to hear about it? Sure. Oh, of course. Everyone loves to hear about research. <clears throat> so, many historians like to research the great figures of history, your Caesars, your Cleopatras, your Alexanders, various figures like that. But a real scholar researches the folks who research the great figures. And... I am taking it a step further. 
I am doing a research project on the people who write about 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 the great figures of history. Um, those are the people I really care about. Uh, I feel that I have a special affinity with them, you understand? Yeah, totally, totally understand. I completely understand what you're talking about, like, Joe Smith of your... <laughs> Joe Smith? <laughs> That's not a researcher at all. Uh, clearly, you're thinking of uh, Josephy Lodimus, uh, who wrote about uh, the great figures, who wrote about the great figures, who wrote about the great figures, who wrote about great figures, clearly. Joe. Joe, uh, for short, of course. What about the wage issue? Ah, wages. Um, yes, that has been a problem throughout history. In fact, most of the time, people get none. Um, especially uh, if they work for someone like Pantalone. Um, that is your current employer, correct? That is correct. Yes. Um, well, see, the thing is, I need money to research my project. Uh, it takes a very good deal of money to uncover the writings of the people who wrote about the people who wrote about the people who wrote about the people who did things. So I will need, oh, probably four or 5,000 ducats. If you get this money, mm -hmm. You could pay me. Well, I couldn't pay you that much. I mean, it takes a lot of money to, to buy paper and quills and uh, to pay other people to go research the um, things I, for me. I, I could be your assistant. You are a researcher. I could. I did not know you were a researcher. What is your experience in research? What have you researched before? What books have you written? Well, I haven't written any books, but I... I, I dust the ones that are in Pantalone's you library. You dust the books in yes. Pantalone's, but you've not written any. No. Have you read any of the books in Pantalone's study? Well, I have to put them in alphabetical order. So I read them. I read so the titles. So you read the titles. Yes. Okay, that's a start. Um, how much uh, do you make currently? One ducat a month. One. One. Per... Month. Month. Yes. Well, I could double that if I get the money. That and you two. can get two ducats of the 5,000 that I need. Two ducats a month? I like that. Ah, well, then we just need to convince Pantalone to fund my research project, and then I can pay you double. What if you tell him that you're researching? Him. <laughs> no one would research Pantalone. He's just an old man with money who uh, doesn't really do anything of value. Why would anyone research him? How he got his money. How he got his money is his father died. I, everyone knows that already. But how did his father get the money? Well, his father got the money because his father died before him. That's how people get money. I mean, it's not even worth writing a book about. But it would... It would speak to his vanity that you're doing a research project oh, about his family I, and he would be more eager to give you the money. I don't know. As a scholar, I'm, I'm bound to the truth. I could not tell a lie unless it got me a lot of money. Francesco, where's my dinner? Oh, um, there he is. So you think I should, I should talk to him about his family? Yes. Ugh, very well. Ah! Dottore, my good friend. Ah, my... Acquaintance, Pantalone. <clears throat> good, good to see you. Yes, it is. I am also seeing you. <clears throat> what, what, why, oh, it's about time, my dear. Oh, give him food. Wait, That'll work. Um, we have a guest. You should probably give him some food as well. Uh, uh, welcome, Pantalone. Um, oh. you're in my house. Oh, um, so I am. Uh, you own so many of the houses, they're kind of all yours. <laughs> yeah, they, they are. I mean, how else will I make money if I didn't own houses? Well, you know, dying relatives, things like that. Um, oh, yeah, but mm, mm, that's, that's, they just gave me the a rent, step on the The road. rent you charge me is, is so fair, by the way. Thank um, you, thank only, you. I thought so, too. Yes, only 300 ducats a month. Um, that, that is completely fair. Yes, uh, plus the fees for um, air and heat, and water. 
don't you want your air, heat, and water? Oh, very much, very we, much. We sir. can shut that off. Uh, um, I don't know how we do that in this time period, but I will figure that out. All right. <laughs> Anyhow, what uh, what can I do? Oh, for you? You're, I, I wanted I wanted to speak to you about um your family. <clears throat> I hear it's a um, lovely family that you have a a very a very rich family. Oh, yes. a very noble family. Oh, yes, most noble. We are. The pantalones go back for almost a millennia. Almost a millennia of pantalones, yes. Yes, they, they named, like, clothing after me. <laughs> yes, um, oh, that is very interesting. Yes, yes. Um, which article of clothing is named after you? The pantalones. Ah, ah, very, very clever, very creative they were with that name. Okay. Yes. I think um, so. so why did they name pantalones after your family? Well, because uh, we we owned the company that made them. You owned the company that made them. Yes. And so you and just called them yourself. Yes, they're pantalones, pantalone. Ah, pantalones by pantalone. Yes. I see. Kind of like the priest, you know, Padre Pio. Father, father. <laughs> father, father. Yes, I, I'm very familiar with father, father. Um, he, he has to forgive me many times uh, a month. Anyway, um, sorry, uh, uh, yes, uh, so very interesting story. Uh, your pant company made pants, and now they're called pants, and you have a lot of money from that. Anyway, I am researching the people who write about the people who write about the people who write about people who make pants, and... I think your family would reach even greater fame if I could do this research project and publish it far and wide throughout Italy. That would be excellent. That, that would make my, me look so good. Absolutely. I mean, All about look, making you look good. As it should be. I mean, I, I'm so great to this town. Absolutely. It won't be hard at all. Anyway, um, the um, amount of money I need to, to make this project make you look very, very, very good is um, four to five thousand ducats. Four to th five thousand ducats? Well, you know, give or take. Take. <laughs> but think of the, think of the worldwide information that that pantalones would be worldwide information. Worldwide. We live in Europe. What else is there? Well, there are other places. For instance. <clears throat> Oh, God, he's opening one of his books. Have you seen this place? Um, this place is not Europe, and it is sort of um, over there. How, how do you... Can, can, Canada? Canada. Where is this Canada? It is a new land recently discovered, Canada, and they have a very valuable good called um, Maple Syrup. Maple Yes, Syrup. all the scholars that have studied Canada mention it. Uh, apparently, it is um, a, a treasure of great value. Um, uh, I could share my books about Canada and the Maple Syrup. If what? Why don't you just get me some of this Maple Syrup? Well, I don't really do that. I more read about things. I don't really do things, you see. Yes. Maybe if you get him the money, he can go to Canada and get the Maple Syrup. I want to be very clear. I will not be going anywhere. Um, <laughs> however, if you do give me enough money, I could pay someone else to do that based on the maps that I have. They're very excellent, valuable. Excellent. Three, how about 3,000 ducats? Um, well, I, I mean... I will, take, I, I will include the air and heat and water in your home. Oh, well, you charge me currently 500 ducats a month for that, so that is actually very valuable. Um, but I, uh, yeah. well, um, the thing is, um, I will need just a little bit more because I need a research assistant. How much can that possibly cost? I mean, I, I only pay one ducat a month. I only pay one ducat a month. Uh, yes, I think that is kind of an issue. Um, and um, I would be paying close to that. What? One ducat a month is more than... Fa like, wouldn't you all want one ducat a month? Yeah. Plus, you get to live in a house for free? Yeah. And, and, and clean my toilet? And bathe him? And bathe me. And, and rub my feet at the end of the day. It's very, very difficult. 
One ducat a month. Come you, on. You do all that for one ducat a month. Hmm. Well, um, <laughs> I will um, ask for a little less than that. Um, so I will pay you the same one ducat a month, but all you have to do is research. Research? She's a woman! <laughs> well, yes, but I'm only paying one ducat, you see. You should be paying, like, 70% of that. How can you do that, even? It's, with, with the ducat is the smallest unit of money. It would be like dividing the atom. It is ridiculous. You can break it. You can break the ducat. You cannot break the atom any more than you can break a ducat. Everyone knows. It's well-established science. I Look, it is in this book right here. See? Th this book th contains th everything. It's th amazing. Th the ducat is the smallest unit of money conceivable. Okay. But if you break it in half, it is then... Worthless. <sighs> I will give you an extra 100 ducats. That's 3,100 ducats. I can do math. I am a scholar. You understand, right? Uh, 3,100 ducats um, plus the 500 ducats deducted from my fees of rent. Mm, and then I will pay you two ducats. Wait, you, you're going to take, Wait. she still has to work for me. Oh, um, of, of course. She will s still work for you while she's working for me and doing research and going to Canada. If she's in Canada, how's she going to work for me? <clears throat> I hadn't thought that far ahead. Um, by mail. <laughs> by mail. Yes, it's a new thing um, where people write letters um, and various things, and then you put it in an envelope, you seal it with partially chewed bread, and then it goes anywhere you want in the world. This, this is fabulous. It I, is. It's wonderful. I, I, I can start sending people bills. <laughs> well, I mean, it's better to use it for knowledge and the spread of goodwill and things like that. What better I, knowledge than knowing how much you owe me? Oh dear, I think I've made a terrible mistake. Well, Pretend I didn't say anything about mail existing. <laughs> I will probably forget in five minutes, anyhow. This is true. So, um, so she's gonna continue to work for me by mail. Correct. How is she going to Virtually, they call by it. mail? <clears throat> yes, work from home is what it's called. Is that even legal? Uh, apparently in Canada. Not this here. This is Canada, <laughs> this is Italy, I mean. Ah, yes. Oh, very well then. I. We will do four thousand. Oh, sorry, sorry. Three. 000. Oh, absolutely, absolutely agreed. Four thousand ducats. Very good, sir. Right, very oh, good. Fine, four thousand ducats. And uh, you will work from Canada for our research project. And I will write a book about the people who wrote 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 about your ancestor who invented pants. Excellent. This sounds like a great idea. Very good, sir. Wouldn't you all want to know where pants came from? To be clear, you're going to get to know about the person who wrote about the person who wrote about the person who wrote about the person about where pants came from. Not really where pants came from. That's boring. <laughs> boring! Everyone loves scholars. That's what the people want. Oh, fine then. Go write your book and do your research. Thank you. That's what I was doing in the first place. <clears throat> then why am I paying you for it? <laughs> oh. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Liz, do you want to? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna make you do it. I'll just stand here for support. <laughs> yeah. All right. Today's a very important day in the history of Mr. Smalls because it is the birthday of the OG Mr. Smalls, Jordan Speranzo. Come on up here. Imagine a candle and imaginarily blow it out. I'm just going to.
Oh, yeah, don't blow it out. Ready? <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jordan. Happy birthday to you. Woo! <laughs> All right. So, cake. There's going to be cake in the green room. You guys want some? It's all good. Either way. Yes. Say the, yeah, you can do the second one. The funk, it's the funky one. All right. How's everyone doing? Nourishment. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to try a new song, and I just learned that uh, backstage there's a little handy dandy acoustic cafe trademarked chart creator. It's not a chart creator, it's a chart creator. So I'm going to try a new song. It used to be my, my habit to uh, try to write a song every week and then play it as soon as possible just to see if it's worth keeping in the notepad, you know. Um, so anyway, let's, this is one of those, and uh, Steve's familiar with it, and uh, we'll see what happens. Before the sun comes up Walk to the pot and I fill my cup Back on the highway in a cloud of dust Just another traveling song Just another traveling song Just another traveling song Don't worry honey I won't be gone long It's another traveling song Miles and miles and miles to go Western sky, open road Leaving all the faces that I know Living at a traveling song Living at a traveling song Living at a traveling song Don't worry honey, I won't be gone long Living at a traveling song
stop at a diner for a bite to eat Tired eyes, tired feet AC buzzing just to beat the heat Just another traveling song Living out a traveling song Living out a traveling song Getting it together. <laughs> uh, Hitchhiker sign says Vegas a bust. That's it. Pedal down and speed we trust. We do what we can, we do what we must. Just in a traveling song. Sorry, sort of, but thank you. We got, we kind of got it together. Yeah. We need a Drew. We need oh, Drew, man. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, this is called "She's in the Band," and this is this is a funky one. It's hard to get cosmic. I realize too. Like on a Monday night, I don't know what it means anymore. Thank you. Monday, Monday, Cosmic. All right, we'll see if we can work this in. Um, oh, drummer, it's Nikia Vey. I always like to make sure. Um, <laughs>
Who says drama? Who suffers from trauma? Still loves her mama. Don't know her papa. Oh, she ain't got college, but she's got knowledge. Celestial. She lives so lazy, and she drives a ukulele. She plays the ukulele in the band. She's in the band. She's got good hands. She's in the band. In the band, in the band, she's in the band. Let's get a bass solo in the band. Thank you. It pays to practice, man. Yep. We've done that one a few times. Thank you all very much, house band, and uh, thank you to the fine lady in the band. Um, up next, I really have no idea. I got a toothache. I'm tired. Thank you. Yes. They somehow bring me back. And I'm like, ah, that's uh, Fiona Walsh. Fiona Walsh. And then... Uh, and then uh, Symington Reed. And then Symington Reed. All right. Looking forward to it. All right, here we go. Oh. Rocking on here. You'll probably you want the amp? Okay. So if we'll let's see. Thank you. Thank you.
little bit. Okay, that feels a little bit more comfortable. Hi, everyone. Hi. Thank you. Um, this is a song I've done before. I'm going to do it again. This is called Acoustic One. Through the glass, you looked like the Mona Lisa. You were so beautiful, I couldn't speak a single word that mean anything. In a moment like this, a word just doesn't exist. I asked you where you were from and you proudly said the renaissance when you returned the question i shook my head said it's not worth the mention you then proceeded to fog the glass so i couldn't see my past. Instead, I stared down the future. What was to come? Who I'm to be? How long can I follow you? I always want to feel this free. along and danced in the streets as the rain poured down it felt like a movie time flew by without a mention the moon lit the way an extension of heaven here on earth on this cobblestone road secret was suddenly exposed you whispered to things you said you knew to be true one don't be eager to grow up so soon and to love all the time convenience isn't a virtue I can still hear the running of the train and remember the way uh, on your shoes. I can still picture the look on your face, you were so assured, but I didn't have a clue. I wish I knew where you were set to go last time. Morocco tomorrow I'll cross my own bridge in the misery won't make any difference curse the sky when the rain only falls to wash our blood from out of the street same rain now lost its mystique. Thank you.
mean? That show, yeah, yeah, thank you. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Did you handle myself? No, no, that's okay. I mean, it's up to you. Symington, that's a unique name. Where, um, where does it come from? Uh, well, it is a uh, family name. It's, uh, I believe it's uh, Swedish. Ah, I've got a little Swedish in me as well. <laughs> yes. Oh, presumptuous. I mean, yes, I know, I mean... Well, I always considered Hannigan. I was like, oh, I'm Irish, Irish, Irish. And it turns out both my grandparents are married to Swedish folks. And so I'm like, wait, I might be percentage-wise more Swedish than Irish. I was thinking of changing my last name. But Symington, I like that. Sounds like the house band's needed. <clears throat> Do your job, Drew. There's still a good bit of cake back there. And um, again, I want to thank everyone. I don't know. I haven't tried it yet. But it looks good from a distance is all I can say. Um, all right. Uh, Well, hello everybody. How are you doing out there tonight? <laughs> I heard someone just say, I'm okay. And I feel that. That's all right. That's okay to just be okay. All right. So, this, uh, this is a song. I think the, the theme tonight to uh, look up. Uh, and this is a song of, all about dreams. And. Um, it's kind of dreams that you don't want to wake up from. So, uh, you know, here's, here's to staying in bed. So I can make you mine I'm gonna prove it to myself And I'll prove it to you That I can make both of our dreams come true
you across my mind And there's nothing in this world that I would rather find So then honey, what do you say? Let's climb underneath the covers and sleep our lives away with me in my dream I can only see you when I close my eyes to sleep If I can only hold you inside my Thank you very much, everybody. Let's get on this house band. Gentlemen, incredible. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, let's welcome Keith up here and give it up again for Symington, the Swede. And the house band's going to join you, right? All right. Yes, it feels good to be used. More space.
Thanks to the house band. Is it stand up or sit down? Because uh, yeah, whatever. No, no, no. Get comfortable. I try to write songs, not jokes. Um, all right, we got a little comedy relief happening here with uh, Zach, the funkiest funk man. The musical crossover he tells me is just purely coincidental, but are there really coincidences? 
It depends. I, I, I generally don't believe in fate. I mean, if we want to skip uh, stand up and have like a philosophical debate, I'm kind of up for that too. I am not. All How, right. But we, we will postpone that for okay. another, another day. Folks, I just won the debate. Yes. I must hand it to you. Thank you. you. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to tell you a story of another time I won a debate now. This wasn't planned, but now we're here. So in 2004, I was in college for the Bush and Kerry presidential election. And I went to Point Park, which is what brought me here to Pittsburgh. I originally grew up in Lancaster County, very conservative area. Uh, and I left as soon as possible. So they decided to hold a get out the vote rally at Point Park. And Point Park's a very liberal, liberal arts school. If you can get the kids to vote at all, that's what they're going to vote for. So they sent in a representative for the Democrats and a representative for the Republicans. The Democratic representative was just a dude in a tie dye shirt and he reeked of pot. And that was how I learned what pot smelled like in college. And his speech was just, yeah, Bush sucks, right? Right? And that was his speech. The Republicans, however, sent the head of the Duquesne Young Republicans and all his daddy money waspy glory. And he decided before giving his speech, he would ask the audience if anyone had any questions. My hand shot up. And I asked a question uh, about uh, Dick Cheney and Halliburton and war profiteering and just the endless cycle of violence to make money. And uh, isn't that a bit of a conflict of interest? And he said to me, well, if you and I were friends and I'd like to think we're friends, the most condescending fucking tone. Uh, and you robbed a bank. I, I certainly wouldn't be guilty of robbing the bank, would I? And I said, no, but that's not the correct analogy. The correct analogy is, I robbed a bank after you gave me plans for the bank a gun and said this is the best way to rob the bank. And the best he could come up with was, I disagree. <laughs> he then asked for more questions. Again, my hand shot up. And again, it was the only hand up. So he begrudgingly called on me again. And I said, yes, I remember how President Bush had said we shouldn't use September 11th to uh, score cheap political points. And then I look at your booth in the back of the auditorium here, and you are selling a t-shirt, selling a t-shirt. There's a silhouette of an elephant on it, and on the elephant is a silhouette of the two towers. And your shirt reads, an elephant never forgets. How is that not politicizing it? And his response was, well, I feel it isn't. <laughs> and then he left. Yes. He didn't give his speech. I won a debate I wasn't part of. I wasn't going to tell that story to them, but we got there anyway. Yeah, thank you. On the political stuff, uh, I don't know if anyone else saw this. I learned recently that at uh, Donald Trump's New Year's Eve party at Mar-a-Lago, the musical guest was Vanilla Ice. Because we are in the dumbest timeline. This man raised an illiterate army to destroy the country, and he could only get the lamest of the ice-based musicians. Ice tea, ice cube, snow, young chili, blizzaro. None of them were available. The last two I made up, but they still weren't available. And when Vanilla Ice did his performance, he did the ninja rap from the second Ninja Turtles movie. And they sent out someone dressed as Michelangelo to dance with him. Now look, friends, I understand you can make arguments like maybe Donatello is a fiscal conservative. And Leonardo obviously backs the blue. And Raph was probably at January 6th because people were wearing red and was used to fight people. But the weed turtle is not MAGA. I'm sorry, he's not. Uh, the performance was really not well received, though. Uh, they actually started chanting, Hang Mike Alangelo! Hang Mike Alangelo! Did not go well at all. 
controversial opinion I'd like to share. I think uh, a lot of comics now are getting uh, are getting well known for being canceled. So everybody get ready to cancel me for my controversial opinions. I think the Olympics aren't real sports. Because I've never once heard someone call into a sports talk radio show about how they do the Olympics better. Anytime you put it on baseball, football, everyone who hasn't gotten off their couch knows how they would have done everything better. I've never once heard it, someone call and be like, yep, yeah, I'm not there slalom. I would have laid down even more. Also, a couple of years ago, there was actually a movement to remove wrestling from the Olympics which just blew my mind, because that's, like that's the original fucking Olympic sport. That's on the Grecian urns. You know, there's not, they're not playing fucking badminton. And I think if you're gonna remove wrestling from the Olympics, you need to replace it with professional wrestling. Okay, if synchronized swimming is a thing, synchronized violence is a thing. Everybody gets to do their different acts. You know, Mexico gets to show off all their cool style. Japan gets to just kick the shit out of people. America gets to lose, but then come in at the uh, Olympic ceremony for the medals and hit the winner with a chair and declare themselves the winner. <laughs> Finally, officially confirming our heel turn. Also, I think uh, kids are soft today. Kids are soft today because they're not growing up on cartoons based on rated R franchises. That too, but that's different. When I was a kid, there was a RoboCop cartoon. RoboCop, best known for shooting a man's dick off. And people thought, you know what, that's for the children. Right after G.I. Joe was a Rambo cartoon. Because apparently knowing is half the battle and crippling PTSD is the other half. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I just, I, I don't think like the puppet from Saw is teaching kids how to do math. It's just the thought I had. I don't know. I'm tired. It's been a long day. You folks have a nice evening. Oh, your screen's not on. Oh, you're on mute. Oh. What are you talking about? Zach? That was a fateful per performance, by the way. Um, Hello. Zach, Zach Funk. Are you going? Are you riding solo this time? Going solo. What are you gonna What are you gonna play for us? None of your business. <laughs> <laughs> was that a new one or? Yeah, uh, it's called None of Your Business. No, no, I'm just kidding. Sorry. Let's hear it for the hosts. Now that I've been a jerk to him. I'm sorry, Chris. <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right, guys. So I was meaning to practice this earlier, and I didn't, so, buck so buckle up. <laughs> All right, this song is by a band called XTC. Is that coming out? Colored 
The flowers all smelled as they huddled there in petaled prayer. They told me this as I now bear. Awaken. Drift in your beds, balloons and streamers decorate the inside of your heads. Please let some out. Do it today. Don't let the loveless one sell you. A world wrapped in gray. Some folks pull this life like a weight. Drab and dragging dreams made of. Your heart is the big box of paints And others the canvas were dealt Your heart is the big box of paints Just think how the old masters felt <laughs> Oh, I'm lost Awaken you dreamers Asleep at your desks Parrots and lemurs Populate your Unconscious grotesques Please let some out Do it today. Don't let the loveless one sell you a world wrapped in gray. Thank you. theme was looking up or cosmic something or other. That was beautiful, Eddie, by the way. Yeah, just lovely. Um, and I thought of this song that I haven't played in a while. You can do that. Sharing is caring. Last week I played a song I hadn't played in a, like probably seven years. This one I haven't played in about two. Um, but uh, it's pretty cosmic. It's called Meteor Showers. Fireflies and meteor showers flash across the same night sky this little light proclaims their powers if only for a few blinks of an eye you were there but I was dreaming I awoke to find you gone
star and we know every song lightning bugs and space rocks trace their lines onto our retinas scrawl such soft graffiti there is wonder in the Orchestras of insects calling Blend their smallest sounds To start a symphony Of summer buzzing That fills up every corner Of the dark Lightning bugs dodge mason jars While shooting stars burn Tell the two apart So make a wish And don't ask why Fireflies and meteor showers flash across the same night sky. Thanks so much. Thanks to the house band. Terry Golding, what you got for us tonight? Um, I got something from Sister Hazel. Ooh. So who? Okay. It's Some hard people to say know. what it could be. Well, I guess they got their one-hit wonders. Um, <laughs> Is it all for me? All for you? It's all for you. Ah, nice. It's all for you, buddy. All right. <laughs> <laughs> we love you, Chris. <laughs> Okay, I got this song that I'm uh, we're gonna get the band together too on this. Um, I guess I gotta get. Um, yeah, you were hogging the mic. I don't, not, I'm just kidding. <laughs> After all that, no. Okay, so this is a song from Sister Hazel. It's called All For You.
Thank you to the house band and the additional tenor sax. Thanks. We should have got everybody up here and then sing. Then there's no one to sing. <laughs> All right. 
I forgot to mention, um, I'm doing a house concert Friday the 22nd of March, which should be large and cool, but I'm also doing a music night this Friday night, which is going to be like music swap in the living room. My friend Gina Forsyth from New Orleans is passing through, so, and I'll probably text a whole bunch of you annoyingly about that, but if you want more information about large house concert on Friday the 22nd or music hang with Gina from New Orleans on this Friday, let me know. Adam, you want to talk? Yes, sir. Adam, Adam you want to talk? Everyone. All the Very people, good. Like all the things. Uh, this is trapped under the uh, the crate yeah, holder. Yeah, I got this. Here. You plan on standing? Yeah. I like magenta. This cosmic uh, waltz kind of feel. It's a song about rain. <laughs> so I, uh, I saw the the theme about looking up, uh, and the encouragement to get get a little cosmic and spacey with stuff. So I have a, a song that I wrote that's called Flood, uh, that's about making the best out of bad weather. Uh, and uh, it was something we can get a little cosmic with, so hope you guys enjoy.
Thank you guys so much, Travis. Thank you for letting me use your guitar. House band, you guys, thank you. Is um, D D D D D D D D D still in the house, or no? I think that was David Dickinson. He he announced that he would not be not be sticking around. So um, I think up next we have a obscure spirits. Is that right? In the meantime, Orange G's in the house. Are you going to play something? Obscure Spirits is still making their way. You could sneak in a 30, 30 second song, maybe. I mean, Obscure Spirits. We had a space because uh, David Dickinson bailed. He said, I got to go. Sorry, it was a little impromptu. We understand. Got some, some drums. All right. Hey, how are you? Standby switch, it's in the, uh, the Deville over there, and then you can pop that out. Hello, other guitar. Hello,
All right. That's real loud. Whatever. We're called the Obscure Spirits. These are some originals. This first one's called Wasted. This one's called Change.
Your spirits, we're pretty new, so hopefully you'll see us around sometime. Check us out on Instagram, Spotify, and more. Thanks a lot.
to the thief There's too much confusion I can't get no relief Business man drinks the wine Blah, man, dig the earth Nothing will level on the line Nobody offers their
was kept the servant's land Gilded just as two But you and I, we bear through that And this is not our fate Right, putting the pieces back together, we got Ben Parr. Hello. All right. Uh, so, in a theme. I've been thinking a lot about who we should and should not be looking up to. And so this song is addressed to any person, any leader of a global group, such as a country, who was part of the at-risk group for COVID before the vaccine was manufactured. It's uh, played on top of Free Fallen by Tom Petty, and it's respectfully called Elderly Leaders. Can you turn the... Up a bit. There we go. A little more on the. Elderly. Just waiting for you to stay. 
step down So take off your ego's outdated crown And we'll free Free falling Yeah, we're free It's a long night at Acoustic Cafe. I want to spread love, even when times are tough. The pandemic has stolen our time, but we're the ones that survive. Goodbye. Uh, thank you very much for being here. And uh, do we know who's hosting next week? Mark Dignam. Mark Dignam in the House of Songs. What about a theme? Do we got a theme? Mark Dignam is the theme next week. I'll be here all night. Thank you all very much again. I do appreciate it. Have a wonderful, safe drive, and uh, we'll see you next week. Oh, I'll be putting out some music soon. Hopefully we can send it out on the interwebs. Set, set for release for uh, March 10th. We're real excited about it. Have been for a long time. Thank you. Eddie Brown's on the record. Well, he'll be in the band at some point. But Anyway, thank you again. Wonderful. Good night.